I think it's important to create a space where women can feel comfortable creating and collaborating with other women, and that's one of the goals of Female Frequency. You know, when I encounter groups of women that are trying to promote other women, it gets me excited and I want to support those types of people. This is the time to highlight women in that arena, production, engineering, and give them a voice. So they can really get involved in all aspects in studio and creating the product. Um, because that's something I didn't see when I was starting out. I love everything about making music. It's amazing to create something. A couple years ago, a light bulb went off for me. You know, I realized that I could produce and engineer my own music. I think the therapeutic nature of music itself is really special and sort of vital to me as a human. This feeling of being very alive and in the moment, making music pulls me back into that presence and it reminds me um, what I'm doing and who I am. I really enjoy songwriting. I find it sometimes challenging to be able to communicate how I feel about certain things and I'm able to do that uh, through music a lot more comfortably. As a woman in the music industry, you certainly come across a lot of challenges. Some of those being feeling pressured, feeling intimidated, um, feeling underestimated and therefore that can sometimes lessen your confidence when you're in the studio. I find sometimes as a female it could be challenging being taken seriously in certain situations. When I first started playing out I had different people telling me I had to dress a certain way or look a certain way in order to really get my music out there and I felt like my performing and my songwriting and my words were enough for that. There have been times, especially in a studio setting, where I feel like I need to prove myself. You know, because I'm a woman, I think people assume that I'm a singer and uh, not, they don't necessarily think that I can do other things like play instruments or produce music. You know, it's been important for me to kind of get rid of that old mindset and realize I can do anything I set my mind to. You know, I don't know of any other albums created entirely by women from start to finish can't say that I do. Mm, that is a tough question. I actually don't know of any albums that are created entirely by women. I started to search for females to work with and female owned and operated recording studios and through my search I realized that there weren't hardly any. I reached out to Women in Music, a group that I'm a part of here in New York, and met uh, I Am Snow Angel and we started coming up with the idea of creating an album that features all women, mastering, sound engineering, marketing, artwork, venues, filming, everything we do done by females. I think it's important to create a space where women can feel comfortable being able to express yourself any way that you want. To have a female counterpart that you can either look up to or talk to and relate to and be inspired by. I mean, I personally support any group of women that are coming together to support other women. I think that that's um, something that's lacking in the movement is mutual support. That's why what we're doing is so important. I don't think it's really been done before.